Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to get a PS4 controller working on Windows. So basically we're going to download some drivers and we're going to fool Windows into thinking that it's an Xbox 360 controller even though it's a PS4 controller. So first you need to press download, head on over to the link that's in the description below. So we're going to go save file on the DS4 Windows set and we're now going to open up that folder. So once you open up that folder you should have two files in here. So we're just going to simply select them and we're going to extract them to our desktop. And we're just going to close that folder for now. So we are now going to open up this DS4 Windows.exe. We're going to run it as an administrator. And here we get to pick where you want your settings and profiles stored. So it's up to you. I mean, you can do the app data or the program folder. Um, I'm just going to go with app data for now. And as you can see, this is the main program of what we're going to use to set up our PlayStation 4 controller. So you now need to plug in your controller. So I'm just going to do that now. And there you go. As you can see, it is loading. It's just come out of ID, status, battery. So we've just plugged that in. And hopefully it should detect our controller in the second. So if we just go to our, um, go on to search windows and just type in devices and printers. So here, here we go. Here's our controller now. So as you can see, we've got our profile on default. And it tells you there how much battery life we've got on our controller. So we've got 10% at the moment. Okay, so you now need to go over to settings. And we're now going to go to controller slash driver setup. And you need to select install the DS4 driver, okay? So we're just going to click on that now. And as you can see, it's installing for us. So there we go. The install was complete. It was successful. So now, step two, if on Windows 7 or below, install the 360 controller. But you only need to do that, obviously, if you are on below Windows 7. So we can now go finish. And if we go on to here, okay, and as you can see, we now have a wireless controller, which is actually our PS4 controller. And that is it. That is how you connect a PlayStation 4 controller to Windows 10. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit that like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.